Ibrahim II, whose tomb is one of the most exquisite small tombs in India. It's nothing like the scale of uh, the Taj or Akbar's tomb at Sikandra. Or... The Ibrahim Riser is small, but it's perfect. And these blossoming finials of lotus. And you can see how much has been borrowed from the surrounding Hindu kings of Vijayanagar. And uh, after the fall of Vijayanagar, many of the, the craftsmen moved to Bijapur and work on the tomb of, of Ibrahim II. And it's, a, and it's an incredibly a Hindu feeling Islamic tomb. He wears the Rudrak, she's given up jewels. Uh, he praises Ganesh and Sarasvati as his mother and father. And he's so absorbed into the rasas and the Hindu aesthetic system. Uh, he plays the tambour and he's, he's clearly read very, very widely in, uh, in Hindu literature. Uh, and in his hymns, you can see these extraordinary syncretic expressions of both cultures coming together. <laughs> 